Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Stardew Valley. In the last episode we finally started delving a little bit deeper into the mines. We got our steel pickaxe. Displeased, that's fine. Don't plan on going to the mines today. We have a couple of things that we have to do. But before we do all of that, of course, get all of our gold bars. These are going to be nice just because eventually we're going to need them for sprinklers. That's what I plan on using them for first. Don't have to water our crops, so that's nice. However, we do have our first pull of melons, which you do love to see. Some more hops as well. We're going to be getting those pretty commonly. Only one gold star melon. Well, that's fine because at least that gives me excuse, an excuse to sell the rest. I'm going to keep one normal one because uh, if you remember, the quality crops bundle did need specifically. Yeah melons so we're gonna have to focus a little bit on that so i guess i'll go out and buy a few more seeds what level is our farming now is it still five it is you hate to see it you really do i believe level six is when we get the next thing cut down these now for some hardwood so yeah you can see what all of that growing time was for i mean 11 hardwoods a good amount yeah, these mahogany trees are really just for a little bit of extra hardwood. It's not anything game-breaking or anything like that. Got some more maple syrups. So that's good. We can use that for stuff. We did get some more coal last night, so I'm wondering if we might be able to... Eh, there's no reason to make any of the beehives yet. Going to set more of my gold ore. I'm going to do some of my other stuff for the morning. So today is also Alex's birthday, and unfortunately, we don't really have access to any of his loved items. Well, easily gotten loved items. Oh god, we get to do this as well. So uh, I'm going to give him a silver egg, because I think he'll enjoy it. Sturgeon Pond, you know, a diamond would live things up around here. Good lord. Oh, also we can change the appearance of it if we want to. Nothing too big so every kind of fish will have its own different missions to do sturgeons want diamonds so a diamond we will bring yoink this is i did have this diamond sitting around specifically for the sturgeon by the way so don't worry about it this diamond will keep us healthy and now that that's done it's now possible to have up to three sturgeon you can either put them in yourself, or you can wait for them to repopulate, which would be for sturgeon every four days, since it's a very rare fish. It can be anywhere from every one to four days. Got an orange here. I forget who loves oranges. Do not eat the wild plum. Pick up the sand. My inventory's full? Really? Huh. I guess we've been picking up a lot. And if you remember correctly, there's actually going to be more stuff washing up on the beach today, so we get to look out for that. Given it's raining, I don't remember off the top of my head if there's specifically any fish that we need to find in the rain. Go ahead and get rid of all the melons. Hops I can go ahead and get rid of. I think I'll keep most of everything else. In fact, you know what? I'll throw this peach into the... Eh, no. I'll do these. I want to keep the peach just in case we need it for anything. Actually, no. It doesn't look like we need it for the community center. Is there anything? Maple syrup. That's it. Then I'll get rid of mostly everything else. Bonk. Two oranges. Oh, yeah, that's right. The double foraging. That helped us out there, actually. Put everything in these that we need to. Guess I don't have much. Just wanted to free up my inventory. It looks like I have a ton of stuff. Alright, these can go away. It takes a while for gold ore to smelt just because it's a pretty rare item. We can go to Clint's. I have a gold salmon berry. Go to Clint's so we can get these two lifted up. And I think I would like to do even some more fishing today since it is raining and... You usually have a higher chance of bite on a rainy day. That ought to be a plan. And what else I'm going to do is I'm going to start freeing up all this land for whenever I eventually set it up to be farmland. 
Now I could actually make some regular sprinklers just to start filling all this up and, you know, use that as we can. And that might not actually be the worst idea now that I think about it. Until I get to the next farming level, at least. Because it's not like I'm... I have way more... What am I trying to think? While I'm trying to free everything up here, it's hard to think. I do have way more iron bars than I ever will need, but copper is actually another thing that I'd actually need a bit more of to be able, feel comfortable using it up. In addition to that, I think we also need refined quartz for it, but maybe not. But regardless, coal is going to be the limiting factor there. But in the meantime, I'm going to clear all this out. Oh yeah, also you can see that trees only take six hits now and then three hits to get rid of the stump. And cleared off, and I'll get rid of this as well. Cool. And this is our actual farming ground that the, that we're allowed to use actual sprinklers on. So I'm going to get that going hopefully today. Now what's the status of our copper? Because I don't think we have a ton to work with. It's funny. Copper is still proving to be the rarest thing in the whole game, isn't it? There's quite a few things I could just get rid of here. Uh, sap I'll actually keep for making fertilizer. In fact, pop everything up there that I need. I will plant these two mahogany seeds again. I'll plant them a bit farther away from the main area, just so those can grow. That'll probably be growing soon. So how many? how much copper do we have? Three? Okay, I can work with that. In fact, you know what? I'll go ahead and make the other two get going as well, and we should be able to make five sprinklers out of this. Now, I don't want to get too crazy, because I know we'll be getting a better sprinkler soon. I, once again, I believe at level six, but until then, we'll work with these sprinklers. And I'm just going to really sit around and wait for this to go. Actually, you know what? While I'm waiting for that, I'm actually just going to go into town and go shopping for more seeds because we will need to get more. I think more melon seeds would help us out because this, the sooner we can get that five gold star ones, the better. How much room in my inventory do I have? I have plenty. What is up, Pierre? It's already 3 p.m. I got to remember not to forget to go to Alex with the egg, <laughs> with the one little egg. It is a liked item, but it's also silver, so it'll be worth a little bit more than usual. I don't want to get anything that makes multiple ones. Also, sunflower seeds are cheaper at Jojo Mart, by the way. I don't think I ever mentioned that. That's right, there's all this still. I would like to get the... Oh, the apple sapling I can just barely afford. It would be good to get it now. That'll produce... What is that? 15 apples throughout fall at that point? I think I'll get enough money tonight for it, maybe. I'd like to just spend my money on these. I think I'm just going to go all melons. Because, like, why not? What, another 20 for now, maybe? If it takes 12 days for melons to grow, that's going to be the 25th. So I have a few days to get more if I need them. But for now, that ought to work, I think. And then before I forget, we'll go to Alex and give him his egg. In fact, ugh, I hope I can find them. When I woke up, I heard dripping from somewhere. I think the roof might be leaking. Well, that sucks. Is Alex in his room? He is. And we don't have two hearts with him. I'm going to have to keep an out for when he leaves. I'd assume maybe like at six to go eat, but I wouldn't bet money on it. Wait. Wait. He's leaving his room right now. That was just very badly timed on our part. There he is, look at that. Can I offer you an egg in this trying time? Remember my birthday? I'm impressed, thanks. That got us enough to go into his bedroom. That got us another two hearts. Like I said, it's important to remember the birthdays. Nothing, I know, but... Uh, next up is... Not for a while, we have Sam's birthday on the 17th. Alright, that's not bad. Well, I'm gonna go back and plant the rest of these seeds. Funny. Almost this entire day has been dedicated to farming. I realize that I need to do a lot more farming if I want to really keep up with money. Jeez, I get it. Taxes, am I right? 
I need to plant a lot more if I want to keep up on money. Because otherwise, I'm just going to be struggling to keep up all the time. So this will hopefully help with that. I mean, eventually, obviously. I can't really make too much use of it now, but... Boom. Five sprinklers. I'll also get some fertilizer. Actually, what kind of fertilizers do we have over here? Because we do have speed grow. Not that that'll help us too much, but we could get our payout a little bit sooner. Retaining soil doesn't really matter. Because we're going to be planting the these with the sprinklers. Yeah, I think I'll just do basic fertilizer. And I'll grab some sap. Make some more basic fertilizer. 18 should be more than we're gonna need down here. So if we have five sprinklers, that's gonna cover... Actually, that's gonna cover all 20 of them. I didn't plan it for that way, but here's a fun way to do this. So first of all, it's been a while, but we have to hoe the ground. I'm just going to do it kind of at this weird diagonal pattern here. No, don't do that. Just trying to conserve as much energy as I can. I'm trying to remember this, so... I'm also going to need... Okay, we'll start like here. So they do above, left, right, and down. So if we do that, we're going to want one here. And we'll repeat that same process. You don't have to hoe the ground. Two down, one over, two down. We won't want to do that. We're going to do two away here. So this is, I believe, the most ground efficient way to plant with these types of sprinklers. Because it'll cover most of the ground around them without leaving too much space that I'm going to... So it'll be there, 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 there. Yeah, you can see how it'll cover it pretty solidly with just one space in between. That's what you want. If you do choose to use these sprinklers. I probably could have done this a lot sooner, but... I wanted to make sure I could clear out the whole space. And then remove these as well. It's gonna look pretty ugly, but... Until we get better type types of sprinklers, that's just the way it's going to be. Want to make sure that they're all in the right spots. So yeah, look at how solid that is. Just a line of them, a bunch of melons. I know that I'm not going to get the benefit of them. I know I didn't fertilize those. I don't really too, too much care. I know we're not going to get the benefit of them possibly making a giant crop because those are the ones that can do that but I'm not too concerned about it anyway that's our day <laughs> I was going to go fishing I guess I'll go fishing right here wow that actually produced really quick so yeah if you put hops in there you'll actually get a pale ale which I believe we actually need for no it's not an artisan thing but it's a loved item by Pam but it's also a loved item that I'm just gonna sell because why not it's an artisan product I want to get it out there yeah, I'm just going to spend the rest of the time fishing a little bit. I'm not going to get too much through this, but just for fun. More money. That's it! That's what I wanted. Super Cucumber. This is going to be another one that'll be nice to make a fishing pond for because it is a good one to have a lot of. So I'll be keeping that in my inventory for sure. It's also worth a ton of money because it's one of the harder things to catch and it's a very it's a pretty tight schedule but yeah that was what I was trying to fish for earlier so that's nice that we actually got it hello good timing I'm gonna put glasses into you uh, I can't put clay in these right yeah because it is its own thing pop all those in find quartz I'm going to keep Super Cucumber, the rest can get sold. Halibuts. I don't really need fiber. Clays. How much clay do I have? I have 15. I guess I could use more. I have three driftwood, surprisingly. Oh, that cleared out my inventory. Okay, sweet. Um, hey, what did I last put in here? Fiber. 
I was gonna say it'd be nice if I could maybe put like one of the more expensive melons or something into there to get that duplicated but actually I do have an idea let's take one of these hot peppers and just go ahead and pop it into one of these we're gonna get a star fruit tomorrow and I have a specific idea that I want to do with it so that'll be nice pet the cat because of course good day good day for farming hopefully we'll be kind of going to town on that look at this melons 343 each got four of them it's crazy yeah it's a good day for money what does that bring us to i think that's enough for the iridium rod but i don't think that's what i want to buy first i think i'm going to save up for first and foremost the inventory increase beautiful sunny day you hate to see it Spirits are somewhat annoyed. Ugh. I don't really have an extended plan for today, to be honest. Pancakes. Sometimes they get carried away with fancy, complicated dishes, but there's something comforting about a simple pancake. You want plenty of butter and maple syrup to slather all over those warm stacks. And we learned how to cook pancakes, which is still useless again until we... Oh! The blueberries are today? My throat's about as dry as a desert bone. I'm real thirsty for a pale ale. Oh, whoops. I mean, that's fine. We can throw hops into the keg as well. Just to get a pale ale. Yeah, that'll stick around until you've done it. And you can either buy it from the store or use hops to make it. Hops is probably the easiest way. Blueberries. Look at how much it gives you. This is going to be absolutely crazy. And then on top of that, starfruit. Hops. That's good. Please tell me that's level 6. It's not level six, crazy. So I'm gonna put the star fruit. The star fruit's worth a ton of money. I don't think there's any way to maybe see how much it's worth, cause we never, yeah, until we ship it, it's not gonna show how much it's worth. But I can tell you what, it's worth a lot. What a keg does to normal stuff is it'll actually triple the cost of them instead of adding 30 and doubling. So since that's worth so much, it's actually going to be worth it to just put it into the keg instead of the... Oh, what are they called? I don't know. The pickling things. Well, cool. That gives us quite a bit. Obviously, I should save the hops for Pam. Huh. I'm struggling with the decision to, to put all of my blueberries into these kegs or to just outright sell them. Because I could use the money... But, like, I don't know. It's hard to say. Those will produce every three days from now on. So we're going to start getting a lot more money. Battery packs can go in there. But those are going to be used for crafting recipes later on. I don't think we have any of the recipes that would require it. Sturdy ring. I'm starting to think I might need to get, like, a good ring for going into the mines. Because we, we were getting pretty hurt down there. And that is how how it's going to be for a while. I didn't get a ton of fishing done. I guess I could do more fishing today. Look at that, 225 energy. If you have a gold star super cucumber, that's another thing that you could put into the luau thing to get a full return. But I'm sure I talked about that earlier. Hmm. I don't properly know what to do. So I'm going to water my crops and think about it. Ooh, I did have a thought. I should actually get one of my scarecrows. I had another scarecrow, didn't I? Yeah, I should get one of my scarecrows and put it down by the other patch of food because... Don't lock my chickens out, please. That'll be very helpful to them. I can continue with just making all of these uh, into mayonnaise now for the money. Don't need to worry about that anymore. Pet my chickens. Wait. Yep, there's one there. Jeez. Someday, I'll get used to petting them. I'll, I'll get a fence up, so that'll be easier. Luckily, no crows got at him. That's good. I'm going to place it right in the middle of action here. But yeah, you can see everything's already watered. Everything's ready to go, so I don't have to worry about that at all. We can just continue on our merry way. I'm going to cut all these. These are getting annoying. Be careful not to cut down my own stuff, although I don't think it's that easy. All right. I have so much coffee now. This is getting good. 
I can just sell like the good coffees, I think. I don't know if I'll be able to like use them. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell them. Plus, I don't think we've deposited a coffee bean yet, so that'll be good just to get that on the radar. I think I've decided that this is just going to be another fishing day. Because I could use the money. Get us money a lot quicker. Hmm. I think I'm just going to sell the blueberries. Because the amount of time that it would take to put it in a cask and get that going would be more than I want. And I want more direct returns from it. So I'm going to see how much it'll sell for. But yeah, we're going to go fishing. Other than that, I do need to check out the traveling cart because I still am on the lookout for that red cabbage seed, so that would be really nice. Hey, I had mixed seeds, didn't I? I could actually put those down over there. One thing I could do is I could go to the mines to try and get some more copper ore so that I can make more regular sprinklers, but I don't want to put too much money into them because I'm going to be swapping those out eventually, so I'm not sure how much I should really focus on it at this point. Look at that. Yeah, that's what we want. Quality sprinklers. It's not worth the money, but still. Nautilus shell. Now that's funny, because the last mission of the sturgeon actually requires a Nautilus shell. I have the money for an apple sapling, now that I think about it. Goat milk, summer spangle, another rare seed. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting any of this. I think I'll buy an apple sapling today, actually. That'll be nice. Go walk around down here, see what's happening. I'm gonna go to the hat shop too, because I think we've gotten a few achievements since the last time we've been by. Look at all of these. Uh, I think we got the one for making 50,000, which is cowpoke. And then we got the one for clicks, reach five heart friend level with four people. There's a ton of those heart level related ones. So we'll be getting those pretty quickly, I think, at the rate I'm going. So that makes me happy. It's hard to get around this spot. What hats you got? Lucky bow, butterfly bow, tiara, jeez. Daisy. The blue bonnet, gross. I don't know if I like any of those more than the watermelon bow. So I'll just, I'll keep my eye out. Also, I haven't seen a single foraging object the whole time I've been down here. That's right, it's Sunday, it's reset, hasn't it? That's my bee. Well, that's fine, I guess. You know what? Something I should do today, actually. I'm going to do something that I'm sure a lot of people were yelling at me to do when I first got the steel axe, but there really wasn't any rush to do it. So I haven't yet, but you might have noticed that there's a fallen log in another location that I haven't explored yet. And of course you do need, I, did I call it the silver axe? You do need the steel axe to get through it. Oh boy. Waste my energy, will you? Check this out. How much room? I have plenty of room in my inventory. I'll be fine. Break through that. Also, we have all the hardwood we could ever ask for now. Welcome to the secret forest. Well, I was hoping to find some fiddlehead ferns in here, but it looks like we're not going to be so lucky. There's some green slimes. Easy combat experience if you want it, I suppose. You can get renewable hardwood. These stumps will regrow every single day. So this is how you get as much hardwood as you want if you're going for it. In addition to mahogany seeds, I guess, so we could grow those as well. Okay. Now we didn't have to do that, did we? One swing. One swing and you're gone. I should organize my stuff just so everything's a little bit closer together. I would like to have my sword easy to grab at any point. I'd recommend grabbing hardwoods as much as you can, but there's also this. Old Master Cannoli, still searching for the sweetest taste. We'll deal with that later, but I would like to go fishing in here for a little bit because there's one fish that's unique to only this pond. Well, that was easy. Wood skip. That's in our specialty fishing bundle. I don't think it's actually worth any amount to sell. Does it show you the sell price if you just catch it? Yeah, 75. Yeah, it's nothing too special. I mean, it is a gold star one. It's consistent, if anything. I think you do get trash out of here every now and again, but it's still not the most effective place to get stuff. But yeah, I'll get I'll get hardwood from here as we need it. 
It is a liked item for what's her name, but you really don't need a ton, especially this early on. In fact, I don't even remember what exactly we need it for. I want to say for the barn and coop upgrades, mostly. But other than that, not really too much. I think I'm going to head into town, go to the store, try to sell some stuff off, and then we can... Hmm, I should empty my inventory first so that I can open up these geodes. Before I forget, we should also actually go to the beach just to check out all the forageables because, like I said earlier, they're going to be appearing a lot more often for a few days. Rainbow Trout. Okay. I believe that would be... That'll be in the river, right? It's not too hard to get. 1980. Okay, yeah. Take my money. It's still not 10,000, unfortunately. That's okay. We should get there soon. What in the world am I going to make for dinner? Who's to say? It's so hot in here. You can also use blueberries as gift items because even though they are fruits and they're not as universally loved as vegetables, but you could do it. You have plenty of them. That's yeah, a lot of exotic plants grow in the valley this time of year. I mean, yeah, I suppose the star fruit. Unfortunately, we won't really be able to get more star fruit for a while. In the meantime, though, hopefully we can get to Clint to crack open these, because he closes at, like, four, doesn't he? I don't really remember, but hey, we did it anyway. All right. Pick it up. Oh, God. Well, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, you can get Iridium Ore out of the Magma Geodes. These are the best Geodes that you can get in the mines, by far. So, the fact that we found quite a few, actually, is pretty nice. And then we get five stones, so how about that? I doubt we're going to get anything new out of these. We'll probably just be able to sell all of them. I know that uh, you can give some of them to Clint if you so feel inclined. But I think I'll just give him all the fire quartz we come across. If you want, you can also turn your fire quartz into refined quartz as well, but at this point you should have so much regular quartz that you, t you, shouldn't, you shouldn't really use it for that, but... It's not a ton of uses, I suppose. Donate. What do we got? So, oh wow, that's new. Smack that there, smack that there, smack this up there. Nothing. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's 10, 19, 27, 34, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 41, 41 thinks. Oh no, 44, I didn't see those three in the bottom. We're building it up, we're getting some. Well, instead of, now that we've done all that, I think it's, Christ, I can't believe we got Iridium more. I think it's time to go fishing. I'll go for that rainbow trout, especially since she's right here. And once we do, we'll go down to the ocean. Got it, jeez, and it was about to stop showing up too. Rainbow Trout will stop showing up at 7 p.m., so I was really lucky that I caught it when I did. All right, time to get your fish, bud. Yo, what's up, Shane? I think we might be gaining weight. I might be gaining weight. I almost said we might be gaining weight. Holy moly, seven, really? Wow, don't know when I got that. Oops, still at seven? No, <laughs> well, hey. Ain't that just how it be? I'm not going to pretend like I didn't mean to go through the trash and I was going for the door, because I absolutely wasn't. And that's a easy little bit of money. All right, I guess after that, I'm just gonna go fishing in the ocean and hopefully we should be able to bring in enough money to hit 10,000, get that inventory upgrade. And I think we might go back to the mines tomorrow as well. Hard to say. All right, well, I'm getting exhausted and it's getting late, so I think I'll go ahead and wrap it up. I did get another super cucumber, and this one's a silver one, and I should mention that it doesn't really matter what type, what quality the fish that you throw into a fish pond is. So I think I'm going to go ahead and store this super cucumber 
and then sell the gold star one. Also, super cucumbers are a loved item for Willy, so keep that in mind, but I'd prefer to give them things that aren't really rare, I guess. I'd rather just sell them for the crazy amounts of money that they give, and you'll see that, I guess, on the next episode, because this is the last day for this one. Anyway, store that in there, take that out. I also did forge a lot of stuff, so that's nice. Get rid of those. Fabian Fossil, we don't need any more. Super Cucumber, Halibut, Pike. Yeah, this is going to be a good amount of money. Again, I would like to get as much of those as I can. Oh, I'll slap that Iridium Ore in as well. Three, four, five. Just get both of those going. Why not? Bonk. And bonk. Beautiful. That leaves us an Iridium Ore left over. Have I gotten Iridium Ore yet? Guess not. Huh. Well, yeah, that's Iridium Ore. It's the stop. That's the thing that's above gold. If you thought gold was the stopping point, well, do I have news for you? Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Pet my cat. In fact, I'm going to go uh, real quick and go water the cat as well. Water my cat. And, well, just want to get a good head start on that. You never know when it might become important. And that'll do it. See you all tomorrow, hopefully with a lot more money. And we'll probably go back to the mines. See you all then. And good night. Thank you.